Hey everyone, uh, so this is just a quick update video. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and I took uh, about a two week break from just making YouTube videos. I felt like I needed it. There's a lot of things that were going on and changing that I had to deal with before I really could start making videos again. So uh, I'm back, and I just wanted to tell you guys what was up. So uh, the first thing was because of just not being able to find video editing contracts and stuff like that, I got a job, so, I mean, it's better than retail, and that's fine, you know what, it's not, it's not a retail job at all, so I'm pretty happy about it, but, so, that's kind of, like, the whole process, I needed time to really deal with that and still do Siege, and then pretty much just a lot of video editing work that I had to do, you know, I just wasn't getting everything done along with YouTube, so, I'm here, you know, and it's going good. I, I, every once in a while, I need to take a break from YouTube, you know, just because what happens is I get in this flow of, you know, I think videos should be a certain way. Usually I put the way that I make my videos in like this box, right? Like it needs to have this, 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 and it can't have this, this, and this, you know? And I get too much into that box and then it just doesn't make video editing fun. Like my favorite part of making YouTube videos is recording them, you know? Uh, that's one of my favorite parts is recording and then uh, it swaps between the video editing and the thumbnail part you know and right now it's the thumbnail part but I wanted to make it the video editing you know because I feel like I could do more so I came up with some just some series ideas that I think you all might like a bit more than just the typical you know sitting here and making a video putting gameplay on it and talking you know and that's been like my thing for a while is usually what happens is when I start I find like a game that I really, really like, right? Like Oblivion was the game where I really, really liked Oblivion. And what happened was I started by making Oblivion videos and I would just use the camera, right? Like this. It would literally look exactly like this, you know, just use the camera. And then I kind of went through after I did the camera videos. There was Let's Plays before that. So I did Let's Plays, camera videos, and then I went and I did these kind of like the builds, the creative builds and the playthroughs of caves and exploring caves and live streaming and still doing builds and then in-depth builds and then Skyrim and stuff and it all kind of branched out into me making Skyrim videos and Oblivion videos and live streaming both and that was that and then I didn't enjoy it anymore you know and I asked myself I'm like do I even want to play these games anymore you know because there was a lot about the games that I didn't like you know I don't like there's only so many times that I can go through the same caves in Oblivion and I didn't really want to mod it same with Skyrim, because I, I just was at a point where I I didn't want to sit and mod the games. You know, it was cool, and then it was cool, and then it wasn't, and then I just got super bored of them, man. You know, it, it just like the whole playing it as an RPG, I don't like, you know, grinding up all the levels and stuff like that. It just, it got boring to me, so I stopped playing those games, and I did some Civ, and some other stuff, and then I started making Siege videos because I started my whole esports thing. So that's kind of where the whole Siege stuff comes, and I needed a break because a lot of my videos were, the concepts were different, right? Like I talked about five stack versus solo queue, and I talked about, you know, certain things in Siege, why you lose your rank games and stuff, and I like those ideas, and I think they're great ideas to talk about all those things, but... I was making so many videos that I didn't really think I was presenting them good, right? Now, if you guys don't know about how I make YouTube videos, uh, there's this macro strategy going on that for every game that I've tried it with, which has been Civilization, uh, Age of Empires 3, and Oblivion and Skyrim, what my macro strategy on YouTube is, is I take and I make just a bunch of videos and I let the quality of videos come from uh, the quantity of videos that I make, you know, and it's worked, you know, I've, I learned how to make better Age of Empires 3 videos, better Oblivion videos, you know, and beyond that, even though, you know, yes, I could make, let's say, only a hundred videos and there's a very clear from one to the next gets better and better, the problem with only doing that versus, let's say, making 500 videos and maybe skimping out just a little bit on editing and stuff like that, the problem with having to make those perfect videos is you don't get as many out and you don't get as many search term chances, you know? So 
that's the problem is you just don't get to pop up as as much you know there's a lot of people in the siege community you know if you want to talk about quality that like all they really do is they post gameplay and it gets views or they post videos like mine and, get, and it gets views you know and where a lot of their kind of what separates the big channels from the small channels and the good creators from the bad ones is how they present it and they've learned how to present it through the strategy that, that um, I decided that I really liked. You know, I discovered this strategy. I didn't invent the strategy. I figured it out and discovered it by myself. And, you know, it's existed forever on YouTube, really. So that's why you'll see me post video after video after video after video, you know. But I still wanted to kind of change the way I made videos. So I came up with a couple of ideas for videos. One is I wanted to get back to just posting gameplay, right? Because I like where I sit down and, you know, talk a, an idea. But I think that I, I as a Siege player, also like watching gameplay. You know, I like the videos where I can turn on, like, a podcast, a Siege podcast, and I can put my phone down and clean the house and listen to a podcast. I also like when I can sit down and watch somebody just play the game you know and so i decided to start this series because maybe i'll i'll change it around but i decided i'm going to start this series where i focus a lot on moments that aren't fragging moments it's the series is called fuck kd that's what it's called and it's a series where i take a game whether i win or lose where i feel like there was a lot of good support moments playing as a support player and I kind of go through and then just, you know, take maybe two or three or four of those moments and explain what happened, you know, what was good, what was bad, you know. Because I feel like that's the role that most of the time on the team that I play, either that or a flex role. And I feel like I can explain that, you know, whether like, you know, I'm like, yeah, I, even though I didn't get a kill here, I had a big impact because I was a roaming mozzie, even though I know I save a lot of support. Sometimes I roam, right? So I'll just give you an example. I was roaming Mozzie, and I shot at this door, and it scared them and stopped them for a bit, and then I droned this guy out with my Mozzie drone so that the real roamer could actually get a kill. You know, it's stuff like that where even though I didn't get a kill, I, did, I fired my bullets as a distraction, I still had an impact on a round, a positive impact, you know, because I feel like that's uh, sometimes lost in, in Siege. You know, even myself, when I'm going through my gameplay... Even though I, I watch the, my gameplay and I can see where all of my moments were, like I droned this out really well and I, you know, d uh, put these claymores down in this position or I put the nomad charges or I blew open the wall at the right time, the whole game, you know, I felt really good like I, and I get, did a lot of impact in the whole game, but I only got one kill, you know, because I was helping everyone else get kills. And that to me, you know, I would, I would get rid of that game before i'd be like no this game i'm not gonna use this gameplay for my videos it's boring and then i realized that you know that's what everyone does and i can i can show off moments of being a good support player and you know help some people feel good about maybe they didn't get a lot of kills in a game but why maybe it's because you were just that good of a support player so another thing i wanted to address was someone wrote a comment and i i get these comments all the time right and this is typical of when you're a small channel that people really like where you deserve more subscribers or this or that or the other and i'm i really don't take those comments seriously because i know why i don't have a lot of subscribers or a big channel right now i understand why you know it's basically because if i would have civilization age of empires 3 oblivion or skyrim if i would have stuck to one of those games uh, oblivion and skyrim are interchangeable if i would have stuck with the theme uh I would I would be a bigger channel I would and I but I don't enjoy making those videos and they were like you know you should make skits and gameplay videos and highlights and montages and like there's this set of videos and I, I kind of explained this to them the, the reason why quality doesn't matter on YouTube is most of the time if you actually look at people how they grew was quantity look at a good example actually is Philip DeFranco his video editing style, Philip DeFranco, is very simple. But people like him because he just knows what he's talking about, right? He's news. People like people like Get Flanked, right? He's a very popular YouTuber. Or Bikini Body, 
Uh, Bikini Body's got a little more, you know, montage editing. But if you watch someone like Get Flanked or Zeronic, they don't have a lot of editing, right? Because people just like their videos. Right? If you like the videos, it's going to go more. And the reason why their videos get shared is because YouTube has data, right? Um, the reason why my Siege videos don't get a lot of views is because I am basically building up another audience. And YouTube needs to get data on those videos and the audience before they start spreading them out. Right, and this person was like, you should make, do something to grow the channel, right? And the problem with doing something to grow the channel, let's say I make skits. I don't want to be a skit YouTuber. If I grow subscribers from making skits, and I decide in a year I'm not going to do it anymore, why would those people stick around my channel? And if you look at almost every channel that I find that's entertainment related, right? So gaming or comedy or whatever... There's usually a list of like, let's do gaming, gameplay highlights, funny moments, montages, um, gaming with subs or something. Like there's like a list of things that all the channels that aren't big or aren't successful and you look at them and you're like, at this state, you're never going to grow. It's all the same. Instead of like, I'll just use me as an example. I am a siege creator. I play siege. And I make videos about doing better in Siege, right? That's that's a much more... If you could do that versus gaming channel. Like, if I make a gaming channel of funny moments and skits and montages and it, like, I'm everyone else. I'm not... First of all, I'm not me because I don't do that. And I... Why would you watch me over someone who does it better? Then I'm just trying to be the best at that. And I don't want to be the best at that, you know? So that's why I'm not going down that route, you know, and I don't, I don't, I've never really liked editing funny montage videos. I really, if I edit a funny video, it's very simple, and it's just gameplay highlights that are funny to me. So yeah, uh, just expect I have that series. I'm gonna work on the five stack versus solo queue series, you know, and I think I'm gonna go away from daily uploading. I think it's time, you know, because it's very stressful. I love daily uploading, by the way. It's, but it's a little too much for me right now. And I'm probably just going to go back to making... I, I was very serious about YouTube for a while, but I think I'm going to move it back to a kind of uh, a hobby place, if that makes sense. It's like my hobby rather than the thing I'm going to do because I just f I feel better about it that way. I don't know. It's a, it's a weird thing to describe it because I remember a while ago I used to really focus on the YouTube stuff. I, I Every once in a while I go really hard on it. And that's good. It's good for those times when I want to go hard on YouTube. It's good if I can set it up to where I can go hard. And it's also good when I want to slow things down if I can set it up to slow things down. And so that's where I'm at, man. And uh, we'll see what happens. I'm just here experimenting with Siege videos and using my method. And hopefully, you know, I really enjoy Siege. I've been enjoying it more and more and more. Like, I already enjoyed it a lot when I started the whole... Uh, esports journey thing back in, I think I started in January. I don't remember when the first thing was, but I started it and it's been awesome. It really has been. Like, I haven't done, I haven't achieved anything yet other than hours and siege and training and getting better. But it's just been, it's been really cool and I like how much I understand the game and it's, it's a lot more fun now you know, now that I actually know what I'm doing, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys I hope you enjoyed, um, it's a little update by me, and uh, yeah, I'm Pacific Casual Gamer I suck just as bad as YouTube video games and I'll see you guys in the next one